Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a couple of shower items or like bath time items, whatever, that I use and maybe you guys would like to use them too, I'm not sure, but here is just a bunch of items I use when I'm taking a shower. So the first item I use is this shower cap and the reason why I say it like that is because it's literally called sh our cap, S-H-H-H. -H -H o w e r cap so here is what it looks like they have like different designs and in the front it kind of like kind of like folds in the front and on the back it has like a you know a stretchy area and this shower cap is not your like typical shower cap i mean yeah it's to like keep your hair dry and everything but Number one, I will say it is pretty expensive. It was given to me as a gift, but um, the price of it is $43 for one shower cap. And yes, I know it's really expensive, but number one, you can throw it in the laundry and you know wash it so it is reusable. And if you feel the product, it does feel very expensive. Like if you compared it to like one of those shower caps you pick up at the drugstore or whatever, it's definitely a different feeling. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels very luxe. And on top of that, the material used for the shower cap is actually a some type of like nanotechnology fibers or like a fabric or whatever it's called. Basically, when water hits this shower cap, it the water beams up and just kind of like falls right off. So, I mean science right it's pretty cool so your hair stays dry and um, it doesn't get wet and you can reuse it and wash it and yeah so initially it is pretty expensive but if you think about it I mean after you drop like $43 you really don't have to buy another shower cap ever again because it is reusable and yeah the next item I want to talk about is this Red Heart Sponge. It is by the company Sponge Gel. So it's a sponge that looks like this. And on the red side, it's basically a sponge, first of all. So on the red side, it's a more softer side. And then on the other side, it has like a more coarse, it's not like too rough because you're like using it on your body, but you know, rough enough for you to feel like the exfoliation. So this sponge is infused with like you know soap if you will where basically you don't have to use soap separately to like you know lather up the soap it comes with soap in this sponge once you activate it with water and it gives off like a florally scent so this sponge um i believe it said on the instructions that it lasts for about 30 days so about a month which isn't too bad and afterwards i guess if you wanted to you can use it as a regular sponge you know so it's a heart harsh it's a heart shaped sponge and yeah so very convenient especially i guess if you're traveling you don't have to carry the extra body soap around you know one little one less item to carry around everything's in one little pack right so all right so the next item i want to talk to you guys about is this love beauty and planet muru muru butter and rose blooming color shampoo and that is what it looks like right there so i've been using this product since i got it and the shampoo it costs about six dollars and 99 cents so it is i feel like a very affordable shampoo in this one bottle you get 13.5 fluid ounces which is a good amount of product in there they're also known for being a recycled item so they use recycled uh plastic i believe to create this bottle which is why their bottle is not like super clear it has like a little bit of like color to it if you notice but you know it's just the bottle that does not bother me so like it's the packaging and I, as a matter of fact i kind of like it like that it looks kind of cute right so i love the bottle shape how like chunky it looks so this particular bottle is targeted towards people who have colored hair and i know my hair doesn't look like it's colored but in reality, it's a little bit coloring in there because I was like, you know, I had blonde hair, but I dyed it all dark because I wanted to go back to dark hair. So probably from here on down, it's like my natural hair. But then like from that part to like down here is like colored. So yeah, I do have a little bit of colored hair, colored treated hair, whatever in my hair. So that's why I've been using this. 
So far, I do like it a lot, and I know the whole Muru Muru Butter, they say that Muru Muru Butter helps with like dry hair and basically um, brings back in intense moisture back into your hair, and I mean, from my skin to my hair, everything is dry, so yeah. Alright, so the next item I want to share with you guys is a K-Beauty product. It's the Tony Moly Peach Punch Sweet Foam Cleanser, and that is what it looks like with like a bunch of like Korean instructions on the back. It's just a face cleanser. I can't remember if I talked about it before in another video, but I do know that when I first used it, honestly, I never really used it to take my makeup off. I just kind of used it as like a regular face wash, you know, like kind of like a um, washing my face after my makeup is removed type of deal. But one day I'm like, let me try using this to remove my makeup. Let's see how that works. And you guys, I am so glad I did that because this baby right here removes makeup like a charm. Like, no kidding. This is amazing. So, it's, I kind of like discovered it accidentally, I guess. I, I guess, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people who have tried it and have tried removing makeup with this item, but for me, I have not until that moment. Now, I will say, with this cleanser, it's not like the makeup comes off immediately. You kind of have to work it in and like massage it a little bit. But you know, honestly, for me, that doesn't really bother me. A little bit of massaging on the face is not a big deal for me. So this is, yeah, I, if I see this again, I will be buying it because it works wonders. Now, the next item is on my hand and this is the Korean Green Exfoliating Washcloth. And I mean, if you're... Korean you should know what this is and I guess if you're not Korean maybe you know what it is I'm not really sure but basically this is just a simple washcloth where this takes off all your disgusting dead skin gross sweaty skin dirt grime oil off your skin I mean this is like what keeps your skin nice squeaky and clean I mean if you guys been to like a Korean spa, then basically you will know those like ajumas that work and kind of scrub your body. This is like their secret little tool they use, right? They use this little square shaped green scrubbing washcloth and they kind of like scrub your body with this. And I mean, your body is like clean as clean can be. I don't know, whatever clean is, all right? So it's like, it's super clean. You can feel it. You can see the dirt come off. It's amazing. If you haven't tried this or haven't used this, I mean, do you even know what clean means, right? So if I were you, I'd pick one of these up and try it out because it's a game changer. It's a life changer, all right? So yeah, and they're really cheap too. You get like a whole bunch in a packet for like a couple of bucks. So. All right, so the next item, which by the way, I don't use all these items all at once, obviously. It's just you know, like a handful of shower items I do use that I wanted to share with you guys. Alright, so the next item I have here is by Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. And this is a coconut lime scent. And that is what the packaging looks like. This was also another item sent to me. I say scent, but I mean, I did pay for it. But I paid like a super, super cheap price for it by Influencer. Um, Alright, so I've been using this. And granted, I'm not like a huge coconut you know, scent or coconut type of girl, but it's not like I hate it, you know, it works really well. The price for this is $7.99, and which I think is a pretty affordable price. I mean, the container is somewhat small, it's 2.5 ounces, so it's not like the biggest container out there, but it is no parabens and no uh, flat light, and it is made with certified shea butter. I do know this has uh, vitamin C and shea nut oil, and you guys, anything with vitamin C in my life is a must, so I do like it. So, I mean, the coconut part is like whatever. I'm like the scent, you know, it's not like, it doesn't smell bad, but I'm not like, oh my god, coconut, you know? So, it's, I like it enough for me to use it and completely use it, but will I buy it again? Probably not. I'd probably pick up a different body scrub to be honest. Speaking of body scrubs you guys, this is the Arabica Coffee Scrub and if you watch my video from a long time ago, you guys know I've been using this over and over and over and this is one of my favorite body scrubs, Coffee Scrub. 
It's basically a coffee scrub. First of all, if you love the smell of coffee, then you will definitely love this. I picked this up on Amazon, so it was pretty cheap. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for it. I think it was like 15 bucks or something like that. But anyways, I got it on Amazon, and it's, it's nice when you use it, especially the first thing in the morning when you're taking a shower, and that smell of coffee. They say that the smell of coffee triggers good feelings, and... If that is true, I mean, who doesn't want to start their day off with good feelings? So, yeah, coffee scrub for me is a must. I love it. It smells good. I think it smells good. I love coffee. I drink coffee. I eat coffee cake. I scrub my body with coffee scrub. Yeah. Anyway, so I love this. It's amazing. And this also has, like, coconut oil and all those good stuff. All right, so we're coming back to a facial cleanser. And this is the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle hydrating cleanser is a creamy formula and here is what the bottle looks like right there and it is a pretty big packaging so as you guys may or may not know Neutrogena is a drugstore item so it is on the more affordable side and this is my kind of like my back to basics you know go to facial cleanser my facial cleanser I use as a second cleanser it's just one of my like holy grail type of things I know I'll buy once I'm done using it type of stuff so um that was like a mouthful I don't know why I'm running out of breath all right so this facial cleanser is perfect for me because it works it works where it's gentle enough to cleanse my face it's not a makeup remover so you want to have a separate makeup remover but after I'm after my makeup is done and gone then I take this and cleanse my face as like a final step and it just leaves my face hydrated and soft and supple and I've never had an issue with literally any of Neutrogena's pro project products so they're honestly one of my favorite companies that I really really love and for 12 fluid ounces I mean that's I think a pretty good deal so oh and I love the pump factor the pump yeah you usually don't need that much just one pump your entire face and your neck yeah works well at least for me right all right the next item I want to talk about which I have talked about in the past but just in case you're new here I will show it again and I mean it is part of my shower item routine so it kind of fits into this video theme this is the Holika Holika Lazy and Easy Smooth Egg Peeling Gel. All right, so the packaging, first of all, let's just put it out there. Super cute. It's like a little egg, right? You see that? And the little face on the yolk is super adorable. It's like sleeping little... Yeah, all right, so, so cute. Basically, this is a face peeling gel you use it on dry skin first of all you have to have like no makeup on so after your makeup is removed on dry skin you put it on and you let it kind of sit a little bit and then you massage it and all those dead skins like you know dirt and grime will just gently come off of your skin and then you wash it off it's not a facial scrub where you have like little beads or like sugar scrubs in it it's honestly a gentle facial scrub I keep saying scrub, it's like a gentle facial peel, right? So there's no scrub, it's just basically a soft gel-like texture that uh, beads up all your dirt and grime and you can wash it off and have a clean face. So this is an amazing product and in my opinion, I feel like it's so gentle where as a matter of fact, you can use it probably like two or three times a week and you, it should be safe for you. I mean, I'm like, I'm not a skin expert, but it's just... From my own experience so um, I feel like it's okay and gentle enough to use more than just once a week and you should be fine oh and by the way I do have like really dry skin so all this is based on my own personal experience so yeah so the final item I wanted to add into this whole little shower item video is the Aaliyah skin pomegranate exfoliator facial scrub and this is the item right there and I have done a video on this particular item along with all his little friends basically talking about um, the ingredients and what they're good for and why they're good for your skin. I will put an eye card up somewhere on the video, on this video, or maybe like a link to that particular video if you're interested. But um, other than that, I have been using this since I got it and I do like it. It has um, like the facial scrub part. It feels, it feels different. I don't hate it, but it feels different. It's not like the type of facial scrub that I'm used to. Now, I'm not sure if that's because this is 
a vegan cruelty brand that has to do anything with that. I mean, I don't know, but I can tell something about it feels a little bit different. Not in a bad way, I just feel the difference, you know? So, but I mean, I use it and I love how it works. It does give a nice facial scrub. It's not something I'd be using every day, to be honest. Probably once a week, if that. I'm sure it's gentle enough to use every day, but um, let's see. It doesn't say, but personally, just because I'm not really used to that uh, texture of the scrub, I am I just wouldn't use it every day. Maybe like once a week, maybe twice if that, but once a week at max, and yeah. That was the final shower item product that I used, and that is pretty much it for this video. Like I said, that is not all the items that I use in my shower routine. There are a couple more, but I just grabbed like a handful that I thought you guys might be interested in, or, you know, bring back some old items to show you guys that I do use items that, um, you know, that I love. I use it again and again and again, right? So... Those are my shower items. Uh, if you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up. Click on the like button down below. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or whatever you want to talk about, leave a comment down below. Like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, follow me on my social platform. You guys, tons of links are down below. Oh, and by the way, there is a giveaway link down below. If you guys, for those of you who actually watch my entire video, or at least towards the end, Thank you so much, and those of you who um, come to support my video every time I post a video up, thank you so much. Those of you who are new here and have subscribed to me, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and that is pretty much it, guys. Alright, so now it's time for me to uh, either do something else or record one more video. I have no idea. Alright, I hope you guys have a good one. Bye!